In this video, we're going to be looking at finding the equation of the line where two non-parallel planes intersect. So if these are your two planes, then the idea is that when they intersect, they form this line. And we can find the equation of that line in a couple of different ways. Now, I am assuming at this point that you have met the equation of lines in three dimensions. Okay, so you're going to need that information for this first video. Um, in the second video, the one after this, uh, I'm going to show you an alternative way of finding the line of intersection of two planes using the vector product, which may or may not be part of your specification. So um, just to be aware of that. Okay, so... Um, Find the line of intersection of these two planes. So this is the way that we're going to do it. So the idea is that we're going to choose one of the variables um, to become a parameter. Okay, so we're going to call one of the variables t. Now, we've got free range choice of this. Let's go with z. Okay, you could choose x or y to be t. I'm going to just go with z. So I'm going to let z be equal to t. So what happens is that we're going to get 2x plus 3y plus 5t equals 1. So I'm going to subtract 5t from both sides. And so my first equation becomes that. Then for the second one, x take away y and then I'm going to have take away t equals 2. I'm going to add t to both sides so we're going to get 2 plus t. So the idea at this point is to solve these simultaneous equations okay considering t as uh, some number. So this is going to be equation 1, this is going to be equation 2. So this looks a little bit odd, OK? We're going to have to do this algebraically. We can't just plug this into our calculators. So what I'll do is I'll multiply equation 2 through by 3. Like so. Let's call that equation 3 now. So now I can just add equation 1 and equation 3 together to eliminate the three y's. So 1 plus 3, we're going to get 2x plus 3x, so 5x. 3y take away 3y, gone. 1 plus 6 is 7. Minus 5t plus 3t is minus 2t. So now I can divide through by 5. So x is 7 fifths, take away 2 fifths t. So I've got x in terms of t, and I've got z in terms of t. So I now need to get y in terms of t, which I can do by just substituting this into one of our two equations here. So let's substitute it into number 2. So we've got x, so 7 fifths take away 2 fifths t. Take away y is going to be equal to 2 plus t. So I can rearrange this to get y. OK, so we're going to have uh, 7 fifths take away 2. So minus 3 fifths. And then we've got minus 2 fifths take away 1. So minus 2 fifths take away 1 is minus 7 fifths, and that's t. OK, so now we've got x, y, and z in terms of t. So what we can do is we can say that the line has the equation r equals, and we can have the, uh, the point that they lie on, so that the line goes through, the position vector. So that's 7 fifths minus 3 fifths, 0, because this is 0 plus t. Okay, so you can see this more clearly if you write them one underneath the other. So there's your x, here's your y, and here's your z. So that's 
So 7 fifths minus 3 fifths, 0, plus minus 2 fifths minus 7 fifths, 1 times t. Okay? And so this is the equation of the line uh, of where the two planes intersect. So your two planes are intersected. So if you look at it side on, they intersect at this line. Okay, and the equation of that line is that. <laughs>